A truck carrying a load of hummus oh, look at this spell. crashed Friday morning blocking traffic on a state thruway in Herkimer County. State police said the accident happened in mile marker 216.9 in the town of German Flats. 8.45 a.m. All lanes were blocked. Uh, cleanup work continued. This is a good spill. Yeah, look at it. It's this got is a little, good spill. Little packs all over. Yeah, I mean, coming in, there's obviously a hope of hummus anywhere, but you kind of have to rule that out. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is... The quantity of spill in that one area is a lot. I'm confused how it got out. So the the front of the yeah of the truck bed or whatever yeah that looks to be the problem. Now, if you're in traffic and they're cleaning this up, like you should get handed. You want a pack? I mean, is the little guys are sealed still? Not only do I like the spill, but this might be the most serviceable spill. An unopened little pack of hummus, mm -hmm. if you don't eat that off the ground, you're out of my life. Do you know there's two kinds of people in this world? People that like hummus and people that haven't tried, tried hummus it. yet. Classic. Yeah. Like my dad, he says he doesn't like hummus. Right. And I was like, Dad, you, you've never like given it a fair shake. Right. How could you not like... Like, there's, you know, a bunch of flavors. I think hummus... It's a, it's a vessel, you know, put a chip on there. I saw someone... I think there's a couple things going on here. I think hummus had a big rebrand in our lifetime. Yeah, it was that huge. company that made them, like, the to-go packets. What's... Uh, Habra? Hubra? Sabra? Sabra. Sabra. Which I actually don't like their hummus that much. Um... But I think they started coming out with flavors. I think OG original plain hummus in the 90s was pretty soft. If you have a Lebanese restaurant in your town, go get their hummus. There was one in uh, Bethel, Connecticut. Mm. And we would stock up. It was like whipped. It was like not like the, the Sabra's a little too condensed for me. Okay. A little not whipped enough. At one point during like lo the lockdown portion of the pandemic and everything, I guess it was like, like around this time a year ago. The, uh, someone in my town was d doing like homemade hummus, and my parents were buying it. I make homemade like hummus. A, it was like a, the hobby they picked up. Yeah, I've made hummus, hummus homemade hummus a lot. Yeah. Um, it's fun because you can you can mix it more than ten times. It's good. All you do is you buy chickpeas and you put them in the food processor and you let it spin and then you add a little olive oil, a little water, whatever you want in there. and whatever you want. Yeah, you can it's do the like beauty of hummus. Like I did like a splash of Nutella once when I was having fun. Mm. But mostly it's like you know I like the salt and all that stuff. It's um, a great spill. Little, little some spices. I think hummus with the rebrand. I and I'm stealing this. I saw this on the interstate, but I forget where. Uh, someone said Brussels sprouts. I think Brussels sprouts in the 90s, before people learned how to cook them with bacon and flavors, were horrible. Now people consider well-cooked Brussels sprouts a favorite veggie, arguably yeah. the top. The invention of the microwave in the, when was it, late 80s, early 80s, 90s, ruined any semblance of Culture. healthy food. Everyone just wanted TV dinners like we see them when we do the watching yeah. commercials. And... You know, we and we were the tail end of that, but in the eighties and nineties, everything was processed, prepackaged, precooked. You just gotta heat it up. And then I, I think as a society, we're like, hey, maybe we should get away from. We overcorrected. We got a little more cultured. I think cooking became a lot more popular. And you know, this is one of the first things I heard when people started visiting Cuba when it reopened. Is they said a lot of the Cuban food dishes are so bland. Because they were cut off from the world since the 50s, so they never learned yeah. updated cooking techniques. Same with the Midwest. You stay away from my cups. When my mom lived in, uh, when we lived in Illinois, my mom was always floored by how boring, like, the recipes she would get handed were. Just no spices. Just salt and pepper was the only thing mm -hmm. they ever added. She was like, oh, this is boring. Mix it up. Uh, it makes sense, though, when you think about trade. Put a little thumb in the butt.